guys, welcome to Stras Gaming. I'm Luke. This is part 43 of the Sunderland Fight Back. And in the last episode, we literally left up where I had to get, is it nine points in five games? That's what they gave us the challenge of. We hadn't won in a while. Tottenham destroyed us. So we have a look to see how we've been getting on. Right, schedule wise, you can probably tell by my smile on my face. We haven't lost. We've. I've changed the formation, I've changed what we're doing, changed a little bit of it and today we're either going to be sacked or we're going to keep with the fight back. If we get sacked, I know what my new save's going to be, my new long-term save's going to be anyway, so that is fine. So, Crystal Palace and Man City today, but we played Wolves and we destroyed Wolves 3-0. The only problem with it is Ganados... Played him in a defensive midfield role. He had an alright game, but then got injured. Really, really annoyed. He's out for a while. Well, he should be back, actually, in the next couple of games. He may, maybe may make it back for the Man City game. But injuries are a problem. But, yeah, 3-0 victory there. We managed to keep a clean sheet. We managed to get some goals, which was good to see. We then played Huddersfield, who were in the relegation zone away. It was a 0-0 draw. We had all the chances. We just didn't really, didn't really take them. It was annoying. But it's fine. So that's four points there. Then we played Southampton and managed to get the win. Ivan Passage with a goal in the 80th minute to make us win 1-0. So that's six, seven points we've got. So we need two points. So a win against Crystal Palace means we can lose against Man City, what we're meant to do. If not, if we draw that game or even lose it, we have to win one of these two games pretty much to, to do this. To keep my job, I have to win one of these two games. Whether we draw against Crystal Palace and draw against... Well, we just need two points, don't we? We could draw these two games. I don't think we will, though. And then we get into the back end of the season. So, yeah, hang on. No, we'll go into the uh, team and show you how, what we've been doing and what we've been playing. We finally got <coughs> players back from injury, which will be starting very soon. But they're not kind of match sharpness and they're still high on the injury kind of list. So this is how we're going to be lining up. We've got Lumley in goal, Robertson, um, the defender that I can't pronounce, Maguire, Ron, Ben Sheaf is play, playing the defensive midfield role. He's not that great at it, but he's doing a good job for us anyway. Um, Amos is a deep line playmaker. Mumba is a Mazala. With Chong on the right hand side is in five foot forward. Passage on the left. Diaz up front. With playing as a defensive midfielder, it's maybe changed my policy of may bring in some other players and who I'm going to get rid of because I've got a lot of attacking midfield players. I've got the likes of Izzy Brown. I've got James Madison. He's not even on the bench, by the way, guys. He's not even on the bench. In fact, he will do today. James Madison will be on the bench. He can Technically, he can't play in these roles, that, but I played him in there and he's done all right. Ozil, though, has looked good when he's played. He's 6.59 rate and it doesn't look good. But playing as a deep line playmaker, we can get past the ball around a little bit. So I may have to kind of look at retraining him if I can. And kind of be a more central player, maybe, for James Madison. But a couple of these I may may sell because we've got a lot of them. Damari Gray's back from injury. He hasn't played for a while. Jensen, again, hasn't played for a long time. He's only played eight games this season because he's picked up an injury. If we have a look at his injury report, where is it? Development, no. Interaction, history, injuries. He was out with a broken upper arm for seven weeks. And he's just been, yeah, seven weeks, three days there. He's not had a good time of it at the minute with all these little injuries and stuff like that. But he's, he's, he's come back for seven weeks with a broken arm. I thought he would have been back a bit quicker than that. So Mumba's having to step it up. And he's not been performing too great. He's 21 years of age. He's all right. He's... 114 appearances for Sunderland. He was here when we started. He's he's been here all the way through, which is quite nice that Mumbo is still kicking around. He's one of the is it one of the only players that have been here since the start. I think he must be the only player. Romero, I brought Romero in, didn't I? Yeah, round about then. So again, I'm trying to think, there's no one else really round that we brought in. Chong, I think it was the second season we got him in alone. But anyway, enough talking. Let's get into this game. This is a must win. We're at home as well. Um, we're playing the vertical tick attacker. And it's just unbalanced, I think. That's what we're doing. Um, I don't know what we're doing. 
No, that never works when you start shouting numbers at them. I should have just said, go out there and win. I've got faith in you all. Opposition instructions, the assistant manager can do that. We're currently lying 13th in the Premier League table. We are going up the league a little bit. There is, have we got our games in hand played now? Yes, we have. Again, a win today will put us on 32 points. It will put us above Crystal Palace into 11th place. And we're slowly getting back to where we need to be in the league. Maybe pushing for top half of the table. Finish. Maybe mid-table. 10th place would be nice. Chong's in. Chong shoots, doesn't score. Maybe aim. I know we're seven points off uh, Everton right now. So it's a bit difficult. I need to focus on this game, actually, and we'll see what's going on because we've got a couple of chances here. Right, Amos picks the ball up. Right, do not lose it. Ben Sheaf, don't lose the ball. Back to Amos. You're going the wrong way, lads, but he does find a nice pass to Ron Into the middle to Sheaf, and that's the end of the highlight. Right, Lumley with a goal kick. Plays it all the way out to Maguire to that left-hand side. And can we build nicely from the back here to Amos back to Harry Maguire. Ball over the top, looking for Diaz. Diaz picks the ball up. Can he score a goal? Diaz is in. He shoots. The keeper saves it, and it's going to go out for a throw-in. Their keeper has been doing really, really well recently. Right, goal kick to Crystal Palace. We need to just win the ball nicely here. Don't don't let them grab a goal, because the last thing we want is them to grab a goal now. And they've got a lot of men over, and there is their goal. All over the place we were. All over the place. We've had all the possession as well. And we've just not got anything from it. I'm going to go more positive. We can't afford to lose this game. Could be sacked, guys. This could be the end of the Sunderland dream. And if it is, I, I'm i not going to be too disheartened. Because the whole idea was this. This was just meant to be a beta save. This was meant to be just getting Sunderland back into the Premier League. Um, and it's, it just hasn't happened. And if we do get sacked, I will sim till the end of the season and just to see how they how they finished and all that sort of stuff but we're not talking about that now we're gonna go and try and win and come on lads show me you deserve to win i don't know whether to bring um loftus cheek on early on as a more an attacking role and take off she's having a all right game actually but that's been a problem it's just the defence side of things. We've shored it up a little bit, but we're not scoring goals. But there we go, 2-0. Crystal Palace are tearing is a new one. So Ben Sheaf, James Madison, no, Loftus-Cheek. He's been scoring goals for us. On you come as a shadow striker. Do you know what? Jensen's going to come on as well. He's not match fitness. He's almost going to be injured. He hasn't played for ages, but he can come on on the 50th minute mark. If he goes off injured, I'll be really, really, really annoyed. But... We need a game changer, and I feel like we need him back in midfield. We really do. Uh, Demario Gray's back as well. Again, he's been very quiet this season, but he's been out for a long, long period of time. So maybe get him back on the uh, field again today, see if he can score score maybe a couple of goals for us. Right, yes, we want to make the changes because we're just not doing anything, not looking like we're going to be doing anything. Show some passion, lads. Come on. Pasic is not having a great game. Chong's not having a great game either, to be honest with you. Right, highlight. Crystal Palace's way. Ball over the top. Crystal Palace is going to be in again for the third goal. We managed to make the save. It is a corner. I don't know what to do. I generally don't know what to do um, to make this any better. We're going to lose this game now. And then we need to go and try and beat Man City, who are... Six in the league. So they're not performing as well as they should be. We've got Chong, who's just not been here for the last couple of games. But he can score goals. Damari Gray seems like he can be... So no, Damari Gray is going to come on for Chong. He's got 15 minutes to get us back into this game. 10 minutes. I'm going attacking. This is going to be the end of the game. We're going to lose this one 2-0 after... We've done really well recently. Turn the camera on. We start losing again. Oh, it's just annoying. It it really, really is annoying. Um, yeah. Right. We just need to defend this corner. Don't let them score this corner and then go on an attack. Harry Maguire clears it out. 
Again, just boots it forward. It's now all... We've had all the possession, but all the attacks are coming from Crystal Palace. They're just breaking on us. <sighs> it's just... I think the players want me sacked, guys. That is full time, 2 0. So we have to beat Man City. We have to beat Man City. Aggressively, that just wasn't good enough. I don't care. Lumley had a 7 rating in that game. The highest rated was the keeper. <sighs> Man City next, guys. So let's just get straight into the Man City game. Here we are, guys. The Man City game. We need to win. I've made a couple of changes. Uh, Jensen's come on for Amos. Amos is tied. He needs a rest. He's chickening out pretty much of this game. He's just scared. He knows that if we don't win this game, that I'm going to be gone and we don't know what's going to happen to Sunderland. Um, Robert, so the, the back four is the same as the last game. Jensen's going to come in. McDermott is going to start because De Silva, um, Sergio Diaz, sorry, is, he's just not scoring. He's just not performing. He's not getting to the... So how many goals has he scored? In the league, Sergio Diaz has only scored 14 goals. No, four goals, sorry, in the league. He had 16 last season. He scored 12 goals altogether. It's all cup competitions where he's getting his goals. Lee McDermott, how many goals has he scored in the league? He scored seven. So he's technically, our, he should be starting really. He's scoring more league goals. Chong needs to have a big game today. It's, it's going to have to be Chong that's going to get us into this game. Jensen, yes, I know he's lacking mark, match fitness, but... We, we need someone like him on the pitch. We need him. Yeah, we need to win. Calmly say what we're going to say. Get revenge. Revenge is always good. We're away, by the way, as well at Man City. This could be my last game in charge. Just, oh, this is horrible. I've not been sacked on Football Manager in years. Absolutely years. I can't even remember if I have been sacked, but every save I've managed to get out get out of it. I know I was close with Geisley in my trophy hunting road to glory kind of save, which is it's petered off. I've kind of fallen out of love with it a little bit. And Man City are gonna be in no, we've given a penalty away. Oh, we're not gonna talk about that, but what are we gonna do from here if we get sacked? What are we gonna do from here if we get sacked? I don't know, but well well I kinda of do. I know what I wanna do. And Man City go 1-0 ahead. I don't know what to say. I generally don't know what to say. There's nothing I can do. We gave a penalty away. We're 13th in the league still. Maybe they'll look at the league position. I think they just had... The board had bigger ambitions for me this season because we did so well the season before managing to get into Europe. We've had, we've played Europe. We've, we've had a lot of hard games this season. Thinking it was to be honest, it was my fault as well. I said we're going to finish top half. I should have just said mid table, and we wouldn't have been having these problems. Because I think I requested saying, "Look, we'll finish top half," just to get a bit more wage budget. And I think it's my own, oh, me being overconfident, which is a bit annoying. Right, we're not in. We're really not. But I'm going to shout at them. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to demand more from them. We're away from home at Man City, and they're in. They're going to get another goal. He's just lobbed the keeper, hits the post. Ron clears it. This is horrid, guys. Just watching my job slip away. We've had one shot in that whole entire match. I'm going to have to go. Oh, guns out, guns blazing, aren't I? Off the street. People don't look happy, do they? The morale at this club at the minute is just at an all-time low. Damari Gray, I'm making two changes at half-time. I'm going to leave the rest just in case of an injury and stuff. Damari Gray and Rubens Loftus Cheeks coming on. We're going a bit more attacking. We're going to have to go attacking. We have to go attacking. Attacking, we've put on attacking midfielder we're just we're going at it now made some changes taken off some poor players two changes at half time hopefully that just means we'll just get back into it we're only one goal behind so a draw it still might save us we're at one point we'll be one point off where they wanted us to be but a draw against man city and 30 points sat in 13th is not terrible is it 
after his playing in Europe. We haven't got all the infinite amount of money. Maybe didn't make the right signings. I've brought in some good players like that. Ganados, that Ron are going to be superstars. I guarantee they will be. Just give them another couple of seasons. Hopefully that... Ah, there we go. Felix has scored. 2-0. Just into it. I think that Ganados, he, he will be a superstar. I don't know what his best position is. Um, also, I may have signed too many Leicester players. And didn't look elsewhere to get other players. Because I've got... If you have a look at some of the... Harry Maguire, the defender, Damari Gray, Madison. They've all been relegated with Leicester City. And I'm having faith in them when probably shouldn't have done. Right, Chong on the ball. Chong needs to do something amazing. Robertson, no, doesn't do anything with it. Mumba, can he get to the ball? He can. Mumba, by the way, has been sensational. Harry Maguire, what can you do with it? Play it to Damari Gray. Damari Gray picks the ball up. He loses it though. He's like I said, Demario Gray hasn't started a game for ages, and Felix is in again and doesn't score. We need to go out there and get a goal. We've still only had one shot, by the way. One shot. That's all we've had. Harry Maguire. Ball over the top, looking for Lee McDermott. Right, Robertson's on the ball. I don't know where to put Chong as the striker. He can play up top. Ball over the top, looking for Demario Gray. Demario Gray does pick it up eventually. Are we going to get a goal? Lee McDermott's in. It doesn't. Loftus Cheek is there. Rubens Loftus Cheek's pulled a goal back for us. Two one. Are we going to get ourselves back into this game? Oh, I don't know. I'm already thinking about my exit interview and all this sort of stuff. But Demario Gray, lovely ball over the top. Lee McDermott was in, but they made a very good tackle in the box, and then Loftus Cheek was there to put it away. Oh, get in. Just what we want, guys. Just what we want. Injury to our best player. Well, I say best player. He's not been performing recently. Izzy Brown's going to come on. Izzy Brown is going to come on that right-hand side. Because that's originally why he was going to be playing this season if we didn't get Chong back on loan. Going to demand more. I want a point. I just want one more chance, guys. Please, one more chance. Izzy Brown. Plays it to Jensen, who's looking knackered. He's going to pick up an injury before the end of this match. I can see it now. Ball in. Demari Gray's there. Square it, Gray. Square it. He doesn't. He goes for the shot. It gets cleared. He could have squared it. And it's going to be oh, a red card. Is this going to be Mumba? Mumba's going to be sent off. Mumba on Felix. There is his red card. And we're going to have to drop Loftus Cheek back. That's not what we want. A red card. Mumba. Keep your head in the game. That's it. We've we've one hundred percent lost this game now. We when there's no way we're coming back out of this. Felix has done awesome for Man City. There we go. I think that's the uh, nail in the coffin, guys. I generally think this is the end of Sunderland and the Sunderland save. I think it's a bit harsh being sacked. I think I've done well. Maybe not this season. If you look, my first season in the Premier League, we just survived. The second season, we were meant to just fight against relegation and we managed to get into Europe somehow because there was no pressure on us. Third season, they wanted us to finish top half. They wanted us to get into like the second round of the knockout stages of Europa League. Not not, if, not even just get into the qualifying rounds. I had to play four, was it? There's another goal. 4-1. Um, we had to play three or four qualifying games in between the Premier League starting. We had the weird World Cup, but it's ruined all these things. I just think the board may be a bit harsh with sacking me. The players aren't helping me. They're going to get a fifth here as well now, aren't they? Lumley. Is Nate, that Nature, is he going to get a hat trick? He's not. We've managed to clear it. I just want this game to end. I want to see if we're going to get sacked. At least give me to the end of the season. Bernard. With the free kick. Robertson clears it. <sighs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the fifth goal to go in. We managed to clear it. They do get a corner. Come on, ref. Please just blow the whistle. Don't let them get a fifth goal. <sighs> right. I'm 
Everton saying we can't fault them. I'm not going to be... Am I sacked? I got sacked. I generally got sacked. Ah, right, guys. That is the end of the Sunderland dream. That is... Um, yeah. Not... Not good. Um... Yeah, we, we got sacked. I don't really know what to say. We can't even go back and look at the team either. Probably should have done that before. Oh, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Any jobs going? Quite a few jobs going, isn't there? Huddersfield, Derby. I'm going to leave this here, guys, for you guys to decide watching this. Whether I carry on and try and get myself another job and just keep playing in this universe or start another save. I think I'm going to start another save, to be honest with you. I know what I want to do. Um, I just, I'm just a bit stunned. I really am. I don't know what to suggest. I don't know what to say. I just... It's just all sad. I've, I've never been sat before. There's the Sunderland team. I can actually have a look at how many goals. So our top goal score this season was Chong. And 11 goals. And the last time if we saw... Where is it? Stats. He hasn't scored for a while. Form. If we have a look. His last goal for the club was against Wolves. That was his last goal of the club. And then he's prior to that. It was, yeah, he's not done well. He scored one, two goals in this many matches. He scored all his goals in the first half of the season. He's just not been there. His average rating at the minute, 6-3, six, 6-3, three, six, three, six, eight, six, four, eight, three on that one. And then just he's just not been there. But guys, yeah, we've, we've been sacked. Um... I am. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go on holiday until the end of the season. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to come back and just just have a little bit of a roundup to see how we did. To be honest, we've done pot. We didn't win anything at Sunderland. We, we got promoted into the champ, into the Premier League. We got Europe this season. And again, it's the usual. It's the, it's the Premier League and the boards and all that sort of stuff. You underperform. They sack you. So, guys, leave a thumbs up if you've liked this video. And yeah, subscribe and all that sort of stuff. I'm just going to go and get my head around what things are going on and all that sort of stuff. So guys, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.